Now, our reporter, Michael Cropp, is at Wellington Railway Station and he joins us now. Hi, Michael. What's it like down there at the moment? Good evening, Lisa. Look, it's been relatively quiet down here at Wellington Station. It's not the usual 20,000-odd commuters trying to come through here, but it's been good for people watching, seeing the occasional person still having to sprint for their train. Um, the services now are running generally to time, which are limited half-hourly services, but the first train out was delayed by about 40 minutes. That was due to them waiting for clearance from Kiwi Rail that the lines were actually safe to run on. Uh, and then some of these train services have been totally full and they've been turning passengers away. Now, talking with commuters around here, while some of them are feeling a bit in the dark, they're not upset about these delays. They, they're quite understanding of what's gone on here, saying it can't be helped. Later tonight, we're going back to bus replacements, so that's from 7.30 on the Hutt Valley line and quarter to nine on the Carpty line. And Metlink says to expect a, just a tiny bit of disruption tomorrow, but generally things will be back to normal. They also said that some of this is uh, a reason for some of the planned upgrade works that they've got planned for Wellington Station due to start about next year. But as I understand it, those planned upgrades wouldn't have done anything to prevent the disruption caused by last night's derailment. And for the people who are listening, Michael is smack in the train station there. I'm enjoying watching the people sprint for their trains behind you, by the way. Um, I suppose one of the issues is if you had to bring your car in because there was no train, you've got to get your car back home again, which might explain the situation down there at the train station. What do we know about the roads, though? Oh, well, it's a completely different story on the roads. There are significant delays heading northbound, so that's everyone who wants to go to Carpeti, Porirua, the Hutt Valley. Um, the transport agency says not just the urban motorway is congested, and they're saying significantly congested, but also the on-ramps, the local roads, through the terrace tunnels, through the CBD, across to almost the other side of Mount Victoria. So everything's very congested. And in addition to that, it's been very wet. Uh, the visibility has been quite poor at times, making it quite hazardous to be out on the roads. Uh, at about half past three, there was a crash on one of the Johnsonville off-ramps on State Highway 1, and I was told by one of the people heading out that when they saw that pop up on the NZTA Twitter, that there was just a collective groan from the office workers who were planning to drive home. Now, this all comes off the back of NZTA advice to avoid travelling between 3 and 6 o'clock today. But when I was driving into work around 2, 2.30, you could see that the traffic was already building up heading north. So delays has been inevitable. But despite that, I understand Checkpoint is getting some feedback from commuters who are terribly frustrated and upset at the slow drive home they're having tonight. Well, I'm hoping, Michael, thanks for joining us, that it will be a much easier route home when you head off later this evening. Thank you for that. That's Michael Cropp, who's been down at Wellington Railway Station.